This is Eric. This is a quick look at clipping in QGIS. Clipping is extremely useful in GIS. It's great for removing features that you don't want or reshaping existing features to fit within some boundaries. And that sounds pretty abstract right now, but um, I'll show you an example. I'm going to start with the New York State Census Tracts and I want to make a map that only includes New York City. So I am going to clip these tracts so that we get rid of all of the features outside of this area. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to open the borough boundaries like that and let me restyle those so we can better see what's going on here. Turn the opacity down. Okay, so you can see that they mostly overlap. Um, there are these, this is one census tract right now, but it's going to get cut off right here. Um, that's part of what's annoying about the census tracts, the way they come is that they span water. Um, and mostly if you're making a map with them, you don't want to see the water. <clears throat> so, uh, before you do any kind of geoprocessing, and clipping is one geoprocessing function, you want to make sure that both of your layers are in the same projection. So in this case, it kind of looks like they are in the same projection because they're overlapping. But QGIS will... QGIS will reproject automatically for you sometimes just to make the view look good. So it's really just making things look nice for you right now and if you wanted to just style and print a map that works fine but once you ne need to start doing things that um, that rely on the positions of the data it's going to break if they're in different projections. So the way you check that is um, the most obvious way to do that is go up to project, project properties, and you, there's under the CRS tab there is a checkbox enabling on the fly transformation. So that means no matter what chan what projection or CRS your layer is in, it gets automatically transformed to look good, basically. And if I uncheck that and hit apply, you'll see that our data no longer lines up. The burrows disappeared, they're somewhere else. Uh, that means we're it, looking at two layers in different projections. So um, <clears throat> I want both of my layers to be in 2263 in State Plain, Long Island. So um, first I'm going to force QGIS to know that this borough boundaries layer is 2263. That shouldn't be necessary and it isn't strictly necessary here, but I'm going to do it just to make it totally explicit. The reason why it didn't recognize it was <clears throat> a quirk of the way I saved it. That is my fault. It wouldn't usually be an, an issue. Um, so I'm going to hit OK, and nothing's going to change on the layer itself. So if we zoom to it, it looks exactly like it did before. Now we need to change the projection on the census tracts. And you see that the census tracts are in 4269, which is just latitude and longitude in NAD 83. That is not going to do because it's not the same as 2263. Uh, you do not, do not want to specify through here. Um, the specify button is not how you change the projection. Specify is just when QGIS is mistaken about the projection, you hit specify to say, no, it's this. Okay. 
So you don't want to even open this menu if you're reprojecting something. What you want to do is right click on the layer and go to save as. And I'm going to browse and say, um, I've done this a few times already, so um, I already have a name ready, NYS Census Tracts 2263. I add the 2263 just because it helps me keep track of my files. It's totally up to you how you want to do that. I'm replacing it because it's already a thing I made. Um, okay. And the whole reason we're here is to change the CRS, right? So we don't want to keep the same layer CRS. We want to select one. And I'm going to select 2263. If it wasn't here in your recently used CRSs, you'd have to type in 2263. That is the quick way to find it. OK, great. I'm going to add the saved file to the map once it gets here. And, and let's zoom to the layer. All right, looks like it worked. So we can see that our burrow file is overlapping with the state census tract. Let's go to project properties. Here's a shortcut for project properties. It's down here. Um, so on the fly transformation is on. I'll hit apply and turn it off. And you see that my files or my layers are still overlapping. So we are set now. I'm going to delete this so that it does not distract me. I easily get distracted when I have too many layers there. Um, and now I'm finally I'm finally able to go ahead and clip my census tracts to the borough boundaries. When you do that, you want to go up to Vector, Geoprocessing Tools. And there are a bunch of interesting tools in here. Clip is easily uh, easily one of the more useful ones in here, at least for my day-to-day use. So I'm going to hit clip. And the input vector layer is the one we want to keep, basically. So we want to keep the tracts, and we want to clip it with the borough boundaries. So we want to use the borough boundaries as basically a cookie cutter that um, each of the features gets cut around, and we trim off the parts that are not within a borough boundary. If we wanted to just do Brooklyn or just do Queens, we could select it and say use only selected features. Not doing that this time. All right, so since I have already done this, I can go to NYC census tracts. I'm going to overwrite that file. Make sure you give your files good names. OK, I'm saving it replacing it. Um, it's going to automatically have the same projection as the input layer. I'm adding my results to canvas. And this might take 30 seconds or so. It really depends on how many features you have. I'm going to give it time. I'm going to pause and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. The clip was successful. Even though this dialog is still open, which kind of bothers me, um, so this dialog dialogue is still open, you might leave for a few hours while something's working, and you come back and you think that it's still at 0%. But no, it was successful. You can see the new layer over here on the left. I'm going to close the dialog and hide the borough boundaries, and you can see that the census tracts are there, and they are clipped to the boroughs, so they have they actually look l the way um, New York City looks rather than this weird um, entity that spans water and so on. So you can see I can turn the the state census tracts on and off, and you can see what happened. Um, if I go back and put the borough boundaries on, I'm going to move it down a little bit so we can zoom in to the edges. The edges are always the interesting places when you're doing any kind of geoprocessing. If I turn off the city census tracts, you can see this census tract back here, which is um, in the state unclipped file. 
it's the green one, and you can see the borough boundaries over, over it. Um, so in this case, I'm going to select this census tract. You can see that it overlaps here and here. Those two parts are going to be part of the same feature after a clip. It's a little weird. Um, so if I deselect that and turn on the census tracts and select that, I'm on the wrong one. Sorry about that. There. So now you can see um, that the feature was split across because um, because it was within two of the boundaries. And that's just the kind of thing that happens when you're clipping. Um, strictly speaking, you kind of just have to go with what the census, what the Census Bureau says the census tracts are and keep it that way. Uh, but uh, it's totally, it's a little ugly for sure. Um, right. One other thing before I leave. Um, if you open the attribute table for the city census tracts, you'll see these attributes, these seven columns. And if you open up the original file, and let me get both of these open side by side, you'll see they're exactly the same. The only difference is if you look at the top here, um, features total 2198, features total 4911. So um, there are way fewer features in the city. Uh, still a lot of census tracts if you think about it, but uh, fewer because we clipped most of them out. Um, but otherwise, the data is totally intact. And that is clipping. Have fun.